Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl. Today we're going to be talking about the new movie version played by Sasha Calais in the upcoming Flash film. So we've got a new look at Sasha, which has fans speculating. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCEU or Supergirl videos later this year. So I'm super excited for Sasha as Supergirl, as you all know, and you know, I can't wait to see a Supergirl on the big screen, you know, in the modern age, I mean, like, in the actual DCEU. Obviously, we've had, like, multiple versions of Supergirl before. Melissa's Supergirl is by far the best, and I think it's going to be really hard to top Melissa's Supergirl. But I am really looking forward to seeing Sasha's, because she's going to be in a whole new world, and she's going to be introduced in the Flash film, and they're currently filming right now. And why this photo that she's shared online is so important is because they are filming literally right now, and this could be a teaser about Supergirl's appearance in this actual film. And so we do have this new look that I'm going to pop up on the screen right here. You can see Sasha has cut her hair. And now normally you're like, okay, an actor's cut their hair. Who cares about this? However, it must be noted that her hair is very short. And we kind of speculated that they would let her keep the dark brown hair, which looks like it's going to be true. Unless for some weird reason they give her like a blonde wig. Which I think is weird. I think, you know, they would normally say, okay, stick to this haircut. If you want to play Supergirl, if you cut it too short, like, that's going to be a problem in, like, continuity. Or they're going to be like, okay, so you have brown hair, but we want it blonde, so can you dye it blonde rather than doing a wig? Because it just looks more natural, right? So I think they've definitely took this all into account, and that's why I'm saying I think... What we're going to get on screen is something exactly like what you're seeing in this photo of Sasha right here. Because I don't think they're going to put a wig on. I don't think that they're going to dye her hair like last second. I think they would have done that already. And I believe she's actually been filming some stuff, if not preparing to film that stuff. And she would have dyed her hair already. So that's just some things that, you know, have to be taken into consideration when filming something and being an actor and like the director will be like okay i want this and you got to prepare for that right so i think the haircut is preparing for her shoot as supergirl hopefully we get some actual photos of her on set very very soon however i did make like a mini kind of mock-up and this is off someone else's fan art i'll leave the link in the description below once i find it however you can see it on the screen right here this is possibly how she might look with short hair. So the original fan art had longer hair, normal Supergirl kind of long hair. However, this is more, I edited it, like I cut her hair down a little bit. So you guys could see a rough idea of how she could look like in a Supergirl suit with short hair. And so obviously this costume is based off of Henry's Man of Steel design. And what I've done is I've literally just chopped her hair off like you would do with like a hairdresser or something. And so let me know, what do you think about this? I think this is an awesome look. I would really like it if she turned out to look something like this. And obviously we don't know what costume she is going to have, but we're going to presume it's something more along the lines of Henry's Man of Steel costume from the DCEU rather than Melissa's Supergirl costume from DCTV. That is just like one speculation that's going through my mind right now. I got a feeling it's going to be more DCEU than DCTV because it is a DCEU film after all, and also The Flash is going to be getting a new costume in his film, so maybe, you know, they will take the chance to change the classic Supergirl kind of suit into something more different than the DCEU, but like a mix between the current iteration of Supergirl and like the Man of Steel suit. So that's just like some speculation from me. So now we have to ask why are people freaking out okay so yes she has short hair that is something different from normal Cara Danvers Supergirl that we are mainly used to because she is the number one version of Supergirl and I mean you know the TV show is where Supergirl has been mainly popularized from and Melissa has long blonde hair which is obviously the complete opposite from short brown hair however so in the comics, there is a character called Cyril, and Cyril is a completely different character from Kara zor in the comics, and it's a different iteration of Supergirl, and Sasha, with her short hair, which is brown, looks pretty much like Cyril from the comics, and that is obviously very different from normal Supergirl, however, they might be just taking inspiration from this version of the character in the comics, 
that is a possibility and there's a possibility that Supergirl will turn out to be Cyril rather than Kara Zor-El because I think as of right now we've only got the confirmation that Supergirl is showing up. I don't think they specifically said Kara Danvers or Kara Zor-El. But the big question is for you guys who don't know who Cyril is, Cyril was introduced in 2003 in a new comic and she was introduced as Superman and Lois's daughter from the future. And so she helps in fighting some villains including Bizarro and also she helps out and leads a team with Superboy and the Bat Family as they try and rescue Superman and Batman when they are captured by Lex in the comics. So that's just like one bit of the story and also it's later revealed in this comic that Cyril is actually a person called Mia rather than Cyril whose blood is genetically altered from Kryptonian DNA and she was created by Brainiac to defeat Superman. So she's not an actual Kryptonian, she was genetically modified and altered by Brainiac to have Kryptonian powers and thinking she's Kryptonian. So essentially similar to Superboy who you guys would probably know from Young Justice. When you look at it and take a step back, their origins are very similar, that being Superboy and Cyril because they're both created by Superman's enemies to defeat Superman. However, she regains control of herself in the comics and chooses to remove herself from existence to stop Brainiac's plan of devastating and destroying the Earth. So that's kind of the main gist of the Cyril version of Supergirl. So she isn't actually a Kryptonian, she is someone from Earth, she's named Mia in the comics, and it turns out she was genetically altered to have Kryptonian powers by using Kryptonian DNA to create the impression of someone with the same power levels as say normal Supergirl or Superman or Superboy or anyone who is from Krypton or is related to Krypton. So she is like an extension of the Kryptonians essentially because she is a human but because she has that Kryptonian DNA within inside herself. She is like a kind of second generation Kryptonian similar to how Superboy is accepted in Young Justice. And so there is obviously a strong possibility that she could be playing Cyril in the Flash film and that might be just one version of her. And I mean it's very possible because it's a Flashpoint film there's going to be so much time travel and it's going to be like all over the place that there might be multiple iterations of Supergirl showing up. People have been speculating online that even Melissa's Supergirl is going to make like a mini cameo just like Grant Gustin might make a cameo in the Flash film as well. So, you know, we could see like various versions, one that's Kara, one that's Cyril, but I'm gonna stick to this. I think they've just let her cut her hair. They were like, okay, you're gonna look cool with the short hair, the brown hair, we wanna stick to your normal natural hair, so that's fine. However, we're still gonna go for Kara Danvers. Yes, we're taking influence from this character, this other version of Supergirl in the comics, Cyril. However, I don't think they're gonna go into her like whole backstory and everything. I mean, I think the version of Supergirl that most people know about is the Kara Danvers backstory where she came from Krypton to Earth to protect her cousin, but her cousin already grew up by the time she arrived because she was stuck in the Phantom Zone. I think they're gonna go for that and I don't think they need to do that much explanation if they do that. However, they have to introduce Brainiac, they have to introduce all these other factors like Superman and Lois, they have to have a daughter from the future, like they gotta set all of that up and that's a lot of stuff that most people don't know. So I think they're not gonna waste their time trying to set up a brand new character when most DC fans already know Kara zor backstory and there won't be as much information and backstory needed. So I really do think that they're gonna stick to the Kara zor character However, they're going to take inspiration in terms of looks from Cyril in this film. So what do you guys think about all of this? It's all very exciting. I really like this haircut. I think it's going to look awesome. If you saw my little like fan art mock-up with her having short hair, I think it's awesome. I really hope the suit is great and is as good as what we've got on the TV show and also the DCEU Superman suit is pretty awesome as well. So, you know, I think it's all optimistic and I can't wait to get a first look. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like and a comment. It really helps to spread the video around if you do leave that like. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. And last thing, click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.